super sweet. This between is honestly, okay, best pop-up camper of Overland Expo West, in my opinion. It's between. All right, it's time to go on the first Super Tram Campers. Pretty excited, been following your journey. Sweet, man. Building this beautiful, beautiful beast. Here's our steps. Wait, we gotta get the exterior storage here. Oh, nice. So, Look at that. Okay. Yeah. 34 cubic feet of storage. You could put a bunch of party subs in there, or, <laughs> or skis, or, you know, gear also. Party subs, though, that'd be sweet. Party subs in there, or... <laughs> Oh, what? Slide up. Pounders. Dude. So easy to switch. You get refilled. <laughs> I like the slide out propane. Yeah. You're reaching up to get your propane. Yeah, people don't realize you fill propane. You have to take them out every time. Yeah. Um, cool. Let's uh, let's see this. Wow. Very spacious looking from the outside. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. But the stairs put you straight up into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So this, Holy cow! <laughs> so this is our flagship LT. It's six foot nine inside. <laughs> it's uh, very tall. The linear actuators raise it up and down in ten seconds and uh -huh. give you about twenty six inches of lift. Wow! True queen size bed that you can actually sit up in. So plenty of headroom to sit and actually enjoy your spot. Huge windows. Huge. That's what I'm kind of blowing my mind. Also zip open. Oh, no way. Yeah. A lot of them don't do this, so you yep. can actually be out to the world <laughs> I, I i didn't wasn't paying attention are we on a mid-size or a full-size truck full-size truck so this okay. fits on any full that's size why this truck. is this is massive feeling <laughs> like and uh, and the open floor plan LT the seating ah uh, yes uh, so you could you could put a table mount like a yep. lagoon or something or, wow so underbed storage standard on every camper put all your clothes all your party gear oh, nice. right yeah aluminum too light yeah um, and then, so our fabric is insulated, so it's waterproof, breathable, layer of insulation, and then waterproof, breathable. So we've camped down to negative temperatures in this thing. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's got to be well insulated for sure for the. Huge, 24 gallon freshwater tank hidden under there. No and way. Plenty of storage, 1500 watt inverter. That's a really good spot for water, right way up front. front as low as possible. Yep. I like that a lot. Then deep storage over here goes all the way to the basement. Holy cow. So it fits perfectly your camp chairs. I really like that. And if you're doing an outdoor stove, you can pull that in there. Then the most exciting storage. The toilet. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I'd put the wrap on dry toilet in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can take and, it out though. But the, the cassette toilet's a great option as well. You can step in and take a shower. Oh, no way. So we more or less have a shower curtain that hooks up into our magnets right here, and you can take an inside shower. That's so minimal. Yeah. And there's no wasted space with the shower. That's right. huge. So five gallon gray water tank dedicated to that. And, and all of this, holy cow. Then we do... Uh, Trimacombi heater. Oh, cool. So, very nice. Top of the line heater. This is your furnace and heats your water. Uh, the big thing is that it's silent. A lot of heaters are just really loud and a pain in the butt. 100 amp hour lithium iron battery, smart controller on each camper, 300 watts of solar standard. Nice. Two max air fans. Oh, good. I get that air really yeah. flowing. Uh, and then nice incorporated LED lights Ooh. that look really sharp. And oh, then, I like the uh, uh, gloss white roof too. It's really nice. It's a little bit reflective, like yeah. yeah. Uh, and then bamboo cabinetry on the inside. The Max Air fans each have a remote. Cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, this is our shower curtain that we make in house. So it's got nice little loops and a zipper access. It's ripstop material that dries really quick, so that is easy. You can probably store it inside there. 10 foot hose. Oh, cool. So you can wash your bikes off, your gear, take it inside or outside. You can feed it out the window and take an outside shower if you want. Two burner stove. Nice medic. Yeah. With the flush top, so yeah, you don't you lose that countertop. And then plenty of space for all your prep and your food. And then an additional drawer here for all your cutlery or anything like that inside. And then this is all composite. So super robust. Green grade vinyl floor that you can take out and power wash. Oh, uh, it's usually for boats. Wow, that's like a Velcro in yep. there. Yep. Neat. And then it's fiberglass underneath. Correct. Wow. So you pretty much power wash the whole thing down if you want it. 
That's pretty. Wow. All of our electronics cool. are hidden on this side if you want to take a peek. Yeah. And the fridge, how big is the yep. fridge? 65 liter. And it's nice. even got a little freezer. Nice. Would you like a course? <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, we're out of golden. Right now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish the coffee. Yeah. But uh, I probably need to get onto one of those pretty soon. Um, so if you do the 15 hour water, you get the two plug in, the two USB. Standard is the two USB and the cigarette charger, and then uh -huh. the Trumacombi display and temperature sensor. Very cool. But feels very much like your living room hanging out in here. This is fantastic. Yeah. I love the seating. Being able to have people to invite into your camper and yep. like living full time out of it's always what I think about. So important. Um, the the only thing is, now, is right yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah, I would just want the table, but of course, for this and showing people, and not everyone even needs a table. And some people might want a standing desk, so you can work right here. Yeah. So we do it, it is a, a lagoon swivel table. It's 20 yeah. by 20 bamboo as well. It tucks away really nicely in here. With as many, we've had nine people. Oh here. yeah, yeah, you wanna, <laughs> you, well, and you got foot traffic. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then we do an L-track mount right here. Yeah. So if you wanted to do uh, additional storage, soft gear, your skis, you can mount in here. And then we also have bed steel on the outside so that you can do molly panels and anything like that on the exterior as well. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, well thanks so much for giving yeah. us some details on it. This do you thing see it feels go down? beautiful. Sure. We can stay okay. in here. Oh, cool. Okay. So, oh yeah, all electric. Yeah. That, that guy. No yeah, way. Yeah. And, and you still have, you have enough space for that can to stay? No way. Oh, it feels really good down. <laughs> oh, I really like um, being able to use campers when the top is not popped because you can stealth camp. People yep. are like, stealth camp? What do you mean everyone knows you got a camper? But when it's down, nobody thinks you're in it. You, and you could be, you could sleep right here. If it's, uh, you wanna take a nap, uh, and if you're in a place that it's like, hey, I really just wanna be quiet, lock down, or yeah. just climb in the back really quick and take a 15 minute nap, you can also still access your yeah. fridge, yeah. get in, or if you wanted to use and the then, toilet. <laughs> yeah, right, and there's space up here. Yep as much bedding and, and comfy stuff as you want yeah all right i'm gonna be straight up honest the overland explorer vehicles i love that new camper yeah this is i'm gonna have to go get inside because i haven't been inside one of yeah. those this might be my new favorite pop-up i'm really excited i i'm actually like i'm very excited to be in it this is so cool yeah and i like when it's down too just like this kind of vibe. It's still accessible. Um, it just feels, I don't know, it feels different than a, than flat, flat yep. roof. Let's <laughs> put it up for you on the way out. Yeah. I should say production pop-up camper. Yeah. Because I love the bison. They, they do all the custom stuff, yeah. but then that's like kind of their, one of their things now, but. Um, 10 seconds. No, there's yeah. so many cool campers on the market, but this is different. Yeah. And this is spacious. I'm just so excited. I thought this was gonna be a quick video, but I had to. I had to. Blah 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 a little yeah. bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, thank Seriously. you. Seriously, yeah, We've been thank you. Been following you for a while. So oh, we're excited. awesome. It's nice thank to meet you. you finally. I'm Kelsey. Phil. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Yay. you as well. Okay. Well, we'll go check out some other stuff, and yeah, thanks for showing yeah, us. Yeah, we'll see yeah. you around. Yeah. Thanks. Everyone's waiting in line to see the Overland Explorer vehicles. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're going in our first Overland Explorer vehicles, stepping on the goose gear platform of the Alu box. Nice way to enter. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it. Oh. I'm genuinely comfortable right now, and someone could be just as comfortable right there. And then the bed area, wow. This is the Camp X. Okay, John Burt. I get why you love this. Uh, and the big window is huge. That massive window out there. Um, wow, that little Dometic fridge, but not too little, just the right size. Of course, Red Arc, Manager 30. And that's a pretty cool custom Camp X uh, little plate they got there. Wow. I, I love this thing. This is fantastic. It feels a lot bigger actually than I thought. And what's really cool to me is it is a hallway style rear entry, but it's kind of to the side and it's got enough space here to where it doesn't really feel like the hallway. This is comfy. <laughs> and I like how it's taller over here, you know? 
This is, uh, yeah, again, fridge, storage, all that good stuff. Um, fridge is in the center as well, which is neat. This will probably get rocked around the least. How's it going? Hey, just doing a little uh, walk through of the trailer. No, that'd be fun. Oh, two roof vents. Get that airflow. I love it. I love the Camp X. It's sweet. Super sweet. This between is honestly, okay, best pop-up camper of Overland Expo West, in my opinion. It's between the Overland Explorer vehicles, and this is production. I love my Bison campers. They'll do some custom kind of features. They don't have a full production camper because they build each one to each customer's specs. So they're kind of a more custom level. They'll do more custom options. The production level of camper that you can go buy, this is the Camp X. This is what you get. This is the Camp X. There might be different layouts. Anyways, production level campers. My favorite campers of Overland Expo. It's a, it's, oh, it's a close tie. I'll, I'll check in with you. Between the Overland Explorer Vehicles Camp X and the Super Tramp campers. The Super Tramp is more spacious. The Camp X is more built out um, a, a little bit, but the Super Tramp has all this as well. The Super Trap feels bigger. I gotta just say that. The Camp X is an amazing quality build. And anyways, I don't know. I, I love, the, these are my two campers. They might be tied for the best. But Coda's, you never know. You never know on the leash. You never know with this one. What do you guys think of the Overland Explorer Vehicles Camp X? I like it, I like it. Pretty sweet, eh? Like the dual step to get to the bed. Yeah, right? And it's a little angled. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kevin <laughs> discovered an amazing feature. The entire thing folds down. No, don't yeah, for maintenance. That way you can control your water valves, get your hot water heater, your heater. Access your true Macombi, your PEX lines, all the fittings, all the things, your Manager 3, Red Arc, Red Vision system in the Camp X, Overland Explorer Vehicles, Main Camp. Yada, 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 Needless to say, Saturday at Overland Expo West was an absolute blast walking around with Kevin and checking out my two favorite pop-up truck campers of the show that I saw. They are both so different. I'm sorry, you guys. I just can't decide which one's better. So check them both out. Also, I wasn't paid or persuaded to make this video at all. This just came out naturally because I was so excited to see these campers. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode when we finish up Overland Expo West Sunday. So we'll see you next time. Only question is, are you down to mom?